Let's cook some. My daughter says I am the best cook in the world. It's very rare to find good quality because the soil is not good anymore. Could you give this a stir with this food? Did you eat anything today already? I will, depending on you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like any pickled vegetables? Well, let me have some olives. Do you like nuts? I'm quite nuts. <laughs> I'm going to munch in your plate if okay. you don't mind. <laughs> what do you call this? It's a Sadhguru salad. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put it on the menu from next week. <laughs> <laughs> Table 12. <laughs>
they are still treating it as an inert substance upon which they can throw some chemicals and manage it. Let me throw the paprika. Because... Yes, I wanted to ask you, and this is your paprika anyways. <laughs> well, I better not use it up. <laughs> no salt, just paprika. Will it work like that? Yes, it will. We will put the salt in another way. Mm -hmm. That's enough for them? Yes, I think so. What Good. oil are you using? It's a grapeseed oil at the oh, moment. Okay. That's okay? It's okay. What oil do you, you like? Ghee? Uh, not in everything. We don't use ghee in everything. We normally use uh, gingerly oil or the sesame oil. Sesame oil. I sesame love oil. Sesame, sesame oil. oil is most common in South India. Uh, in some places, uh, in, in Kerala, they use coconut oil. In Karnataka, they use groundnut oil. But gingerly oil or the sesame oil is the most popular one. Okay. We, now, we, now people are confused. It's not local here. So, uh, I, know, I, I believe know. it's the, the worst thing that you can do is to import, import, import everything That's from true. all the parts of the world and then use it. The most important is to cook locally and seasonally. And here, for example, we are using Brussels sprouts because that's in season, right? We have Brussels sprouts all but the time. But not Budapest sprouts. Sprout. Budapest sprouts, <laughs> not exactly. So let's move to the other side. Mm -hmm. All charred cauliflower. Charred cauliflower. Mm. So we're going to the... So here in Hungary, people eat uh, a lot of meat and for us it's a very big challenge to make the meat more vegetables and also it's not easy to get organic. This is from a local farm, it's an organic salad but because the yield is not so big and the, if the breeze comes or something comes, taste it's a super good. For example, this is, this is beetroot, it's a beetroot sprout oh. for example. And uh, it's very very important uh, to have organic but sometimes the farmers they tell us that the yield was not so good, so we are stuck in the restaurant uh, without the salad. So it's it's really important uh, for us to 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 also work together with the farmers and with the seasons and know when to use what type of uh, ingredients because also if you set up greenhouses most of the seasons you can have. Yes, if but there is demand for. Uh... Yes, but because of this. Um, uh, most of uh, most of the farms started to use chemicals uh, because they want to keep it uh, mm -hmm. keep it safe and they want to get the maximum yields. And this so is even if they use a little bit of chemical, that's not the issue. The big issue is what is the organic content in the soil. If mm -hmm. the organic content is very high, the plant will choose to take more organic nutrients than the chemicals, even if you put it there. See, in the world, whatever fertilizer people are using. They are using nearly uh, 30 billion tons of uh, oh fertilizer. Out of this, oh not God. even 50 percent is absorbed by the plants, oh rest my. of it just goes waste. Because the plant has its own choice. It's like if you have good food, you eat good food, but if there is no food, maybe you'll take some pills. The plant is doing the same thing. If you provide enough organic content in the soil, even if you add fertilizer, it will not absorb too much of it. It's so, smarter than us. Yes, it is very smart because uh, it is our foundation. It is in many ways when it comes to consumption, it's smarter than us. So this is the important thing that you need to encourage in your farmers. First, enhance the organic content. Leave the fertilizer to his choice. Keep the soil rich. Soil rich. The soil is rich, the need for fertilizer will come down. Rather than saying, don't use fertilizer, then there's no yield. Could you give this a stir with mm. the spoon? It's just some organic salads, yes. charred Brussels sprouts with the Hungarian paprika mm -hmm. and a little bit of charred cauliflower. And we made some, it's a very beautiful Hungarian uh, uh, wild garlic that mm -hmm. I made a hummus with. How is that? Tiny ones like that? No, it's, Mountain it's, garlic? It's, yeah, it's huge. It looks like this. It's mm -hmm. super green. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to give you a taste. Okay, you can. You can use that spoon if you oh. want and would you like to have a taste? Oh, this one? Yes, it's wild garlic hummus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go in. You like? <laughs> it doesn't have this garlic taste, it's a very smooth. It's very different. Very different, very, very smooth. So we're just going to put a little bit of this in the, in the plate. 
Did you eat anything today already? No, not yet. I was depending on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a, it's a, how do you, how are you dealing with the cold in Europe? I guess it's not so easy, right? Uh, it is cold but I'm wrapped up pretty good when I'm riding, so okay. good gear. Okay. And I'm warm-blooded. <laughs> yeah, that's the most important, that's the most important. So the wild garlic is also in season now and it's it's really in the wild so we can pick it and, uh, and also some local people in villages, mm -hmm. they make money out of going out in the wild and picking this. Mm -hmm. And this I love really much because this is really coming from the forest, it's not oh. not even coming from the farm. It's the best way to eat but it's not possible anymore. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Because too much population that we have. Yes. Can I have the spoon please? Thank you. So we're just going to put some of the salad here. Some of the beautifully charred Brussels sprouts. Mm -hmm. As hungry as I am, you're just torturing me with food. No, I'm going, this is going to be your plate. <laughs> so you can tell me if you, do you like any pickled vegetables? Depends how it's pickled. It's, this one is only pickled with some lemon, mm -hmm. a little bit of lemon, can I put? What is this, olive? This one is garlic, that's garlic. Okay, let me have that, let me have some olives. You, you want have. some garlic? I don't know, if it's mountain garlic, yes. No, it's not mountain garlic, so that I'm not going to give you. Do you like nuts? I'm quite nuts. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Okay, so you're nuts enough without the nuts. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm good in their maybe, company. Maybe a little bit. I have a whole company like that with me. Okay. <laughs> they are quiet nuts. I have to tell you, they were super, super nuts. Okay. So, cheese. I'm not much of a cheese person, but okay. a little bit if you sprinkle, I'm okay. Okay, so we're going to sprinkle a little bit of Generally, cheese. I don't eat much dairy products. Yes, me neither. Very good. And if I eat, I eat goat. Goat cheese. This is what I really like. That is better than the yes. bovine animals. Yes. Chickpeas? A little bit of uh, chickpeas? No, no. Okay. All right, so I believe we are ready with our uh, wild garlic hummus seasonal local organic salad. What about you? You're not having lunch with me. I'm going I'm going to munch in your plate if okay. you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Let me Yes. <laughs> what do you call this? It's a Sadhguru salad. <laughs> <laughs> I just we just came up with this right now <laughs> Thank for you. you. Sadhguru salad. We're going to put it on the menu from next week. <laughs> <laughs> I can right now put it in an auction in the, the restaurant. Who wants to eat Sadhguru salad? No, 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 no. I want to eat Sadhguru <laughs> salad. <laughs> okay. Ready? Should we eat it? Table one ready? <laughs> Table twelve. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Wonderful. you. Wonderful. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Thank you.